here on Brisbane and, well, another shock result. Germany are out of the World Cup. After they failed to beat South Korea, drawing one all, and Morocco's win elsewhere in Perth, meaning that it's Colombia and Morocco who progress. Who'd have had that before the tournament started? Germany, to be honest, they started so poorly with South Korea scoring after just six minutes, and it was only then that Germany really woke up. Pop was by far their best player. She scored in the 42nd minute with a header, had another goal disallowed in the second half, and then planted the header against the bar. But for now, Germany are desolate. We saw that in the players walking through the mix zone. There were tears. Some still looked completely stunned. The manager was resolute. Didn't offer any excuses, nor did she offer any solutions or answers to why this early exit happened. Germany came here as favourites. They were meant to be one of the teams to be in the final four. Some had them lifting the trophy come August the 20th, but instead they've fallen at the first hurdle. The post-mortem is going to be brutal, and it's probably going to look at injuries and the fact that they ended up with two makeshift fullbacks. A forward at right back, a midfielder at left back. That was brutal with the injuries. It was a hard hand which they were dealt, but equally they just failed to adapt. Bizarre why they didn't go to a back three at some point, just to negate the fact that they didn't have these fullbacks, but instead they stuck to the system and Germany have paid the price. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.